Welcome back to Adventures with Rosie. And welcome to Milford Sound. Alrighty, so we are on the road into Milford Sound. Yeah, exciting. Yeah, pretty spectacular road. No, two we just flew past. <laughs> uh, we've just pulled off at Pops View. There are so many places on this road you can pull off and yep. stop, eh? Yep, they like, say it takes two hours to get from Tiano to Milford, mm. but you want to allow a lot more time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've got a few hours up our sleeve. We left nice and early this morning, cruises this afternoon. And yeah, check this view out. We're going to stop as many times as we can along the road <laughs> and just sort of see what all the fuss is about. We do have some pretty menacing clouds uh, hanging around the mountains today, so we're not sure what the weather's going to do over there. Um, yeah, we'll see when we get over there, I guess. But yeah, it doesn't look too promising. Um, Milford Sound is famous for its rain, though, so they do say if it doesn't rain in three days, they consider it a drought in Milford. So um, yeah, a bit of rain, the waterfall should be pumping. Put our raincoats on, I suppose, and we'll see what it's doing over the hill. All right, so we made it to Milford Sound. Uh, pretty epic drive, actually. It's kind of overcast and cloudy here, but the drive is just incredible. That Homer Tunnel we went through, you just are driving downhill. It's really, it's really interesting. It's like steep tunnel downhill, which I've never experienced before. Um, so you do actually park kind of three, four hundred meters away from the boat terminals you can't get super close to them and you have to pay for parking here so middle of nowhere literally just the car park and you've got to pay for parking you're not going to believe how much car parking was 25 dollars for five hours that was the minimum you could pay sorry truck going past it was 25 dollars if you want to park overnight here if you're doing one of the overnight experiences 50 bucks to park so uh yeah, pretty steep they must be making a mint off parking um, apparently one of our viewers uh, Shannon said that there is free parking up the road but quite far up the road sort of like you know half an hour walk up the road sort of thing so yeah otherwise you gotta pay $25 if you got small kids like us that can't walk that far so we're here with a bit of time up our sleeve we're gonna go down to the dock and see where our boat is see what's around now this is pretty incredible this is the bus uh, bay where the buses would have parked the tour buses that come over here so context this is two weeks before christmas um and you know new zealand's been a lockdown and everything tourism's a bit down here in new zealand there is one bus here and there are 27 bus bays imagine how chaotic it would be here with 27 buses for full of people but today just one so a little bit sad for the people that you know obviously run these businesses some of them are family owned um, good for us so swings and roundabouts all right so this is the main jetty here it's kind of funny it's just a big terminal building and the jetties all the different um, tour operators there's loads of different operators here I think we're going on one of the juicy cruises. Uh, I'd have to ask Chelsea, but we've got a, like a book me, grab one deal, pretty good deal. There's loads of deals at the moment, um, being, you know, given the time of year and all that. So yeah, loads of deals to be had. Um, also helicopters going off behind me. There's loads of helicopter deals as well, which is pretty cool. So yeah, try to figure out which boat is ours. How flash is this boat? <laughs> this is amazing. So I got it slightly wrong. This isn't the, this is not Juicy anymore. This is now Pure Milford. So Juicy sold the boat part of the business to Pure Milford. We just bought our tickets before they switched over. 
Um, this was their premium boat. They had a premium and a classic. They no longer have the classic, just this premium one. But look at this. Look at these booth seats. Up above me here is a glass um, roof where you can see the waterfalls. You can go out on the front. Pretty nice. There are only 20 people on today's cruise as well, and we're the only ones downstairs. There's like it's awesome everyone else has gone upstairs so 20 people like I was saying before you know it's unfortunate for these businesses that it's quiet but we'll take it We just saw a pod of dolphins come in. It's only been, what, 10 minutes on the boat? Yeah. And they just came in right alongside the boat. They were jumping and swimming all around. That was so cool. Good baby Well, I think that was one of the coolest boat trips we've ever done. Oh, it was just amazing. The <laughs> yeah. dolphins followed us probably for 90% of the trip, right? Yeah. So we did a two hour cruise. I think, what did we pay? $59. 59 per person. The kids were free. Yeah. It's normally about a hundred, but yeah. we looked on Book Me yeah. and got a good deal. Uh, it was amazing. That boat was just incredible. Yeah. They said in the peak, like pre-COVID, they had 150 people for a lunchtime session on that boat. There were 20 of us today. Including our group of seven. Including our group of seven. <laughs> so, you know, like when they said, oh, there's dolphins off the bow, everyone could go out there and you could still see what was going yeah. on. So, pretty amazing. Well worth the drive out here, getting stung for that parking. Um, <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. It pretty was so Magic neat. spot, eh? Yeah. Did you enjoy it, Grandma? Yes, it was wonderful. What was your highlight? Majestic. I would say my highlight was the waterfall, standing underneath the waterfall was just amazing. Now another thing I would say about this place is don't be put off by the weather. Um, when we arrived, I was probably complaining at the start of this video about the weather. We were checking the forecast, we were like, oh, it's cloudy, it's overcast. It turns out that it, it rains for over 200 days of the year here and the tour guide said that the majority of the days here that aren't raining are like this, the cloudy. So all the postcards you see are a blue, you know, blue sky, <laughs> beautiful bluebird days. She said they're like a couple of days a year at the most. So the cool thing about this is as well is when you've had rain you'll see more waterfalls because some of the waterfalls here dry up and you know they might only be there for a few hours after the rain and then they dry up again. So yeah, so don't be put off by the weather. Don't bother too much about checking the old weather app and seeing what it's doing because I mean this is it today and we had tons of fun so yeah. Mm -hmm. 